This book, this book builds and builds and builds. So it's really it's a, it's a reading, it's a, a cumulative experience as they as they sort of try to top each other in their new personas, and you have to read it to to really to really Thank you, Mark. get it. And so you have to go out and buy it. And then <laughs> Thank read you, it. Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and ask at your bookstores uh, and libraries for for your for their copy of. Uh, of Robot Zombie Frankenstein. Thank you very did much. Did I get the word sequence correct in the title? Yes, Robot yes, you Zombie did. Frankenstein. Yes, you did. R Z. Yeah. You did. All Thank right. You so much. yeah, they just go. They keep trying to outdo each other in the costumes. On the, the and they're so. We feel like we know these people from the theater. Do they remind you, know? you of anybody? Oh, they do. They remind me of Alec Guinness and all those British movie actors, <laughs> and monster <laughs> actors. Yeah, they are so much fun. So, so it's kind of like shark versus train in that they just keep trying to top each other like siblings do. Yes, okay, I, I'm happy to, to glom on to Chris. I love the comparison because that was not, those were going on separately yeah. and independently. Yeah. Um, especially because Chris is one of our critique group <laughs> members. Chris is, Chris is in your critique he group, is as group, is Julie. As uh -huh. is Julie, and I mean, we, we just have, I love my critique group. And uh, they're brutally honest, and they will tell you what you need to hear, whether so it's what you want to hear or not. And I love that. And they, every, they saw this in the unfolding. They did. And, okay. They've seen this. They've seen revisions after revisions after revisions. You helped shape this book. She did. She, she yeah. helped shape I it. Said it. She so did. Good. She did. <laughs> <laughs> she was your cheerleader. She was. She um. and Meredith and Chris. No, really, it's good. So it helps. Uh -huh. When um, I think I'll send them. I've sent them several robot stories. This one a number of times too. And I'll say, mm -hmm. what do you think? And they're like, I don't get this part or that part. And when I, um, and they always point out things I know are just need some more work, but I'm thinking maybe, <laughs> maybe it'll work. I'm hoping, I think it, you know, they can tell what's going on, but every time I try to take the easy way out, I get called on it. And that's <laughs> what, that's the, what a they good critique group you. is. You wow. Know? This is, and this is all done long distance through email because through email. you live you live in, in, phone. in Florida. Actually, we tried and once the very first time. Don and Julie and I tried a phone <laughs> critique. And, and a conference was, call. This was so long. We couldn't. It wasn't Skype. It was just three of us, and it was so, it was so hard and so long because we were looking at each of our different manuscripts, and finally Julie said, "I'm taking the dogs for a walk." <laughs> We're like she's right. This is not working. <laughs> How so now we we just send each other um, whatever we want to take a look at, and when you get to it, it's great. And you know everybody replies or says yeah. I'm too busy or whatever. So I love that.